Gallery in WordPress is pretty important element and used often not only on basic websites, but also WooCommerce shops and all other kinds of projects. Because I know how important this element is for you. In today's video, I would like to introduce you to the gallery and its options. Recently, several interesting options have been added to this element, which you will find out in a moment. So, let's move on to my screen and take a closer look on the gallery item. I will start with a blank page. Let's add the section first and wrap inside. For the needs of this tutorial, I will make the gallery full width, but of course you can make it smaller if you want. Let's now find the gallery on the list of elements and just track and drop on the page. For starters, let's add some photos to our gallery so I can present you its options. All my photos are different sizes and proportions to make this tutorial even more interesting. Let's move on to options. The first option here is size. You can decide if you want to use full size or maybe large, medium or thumbnail size. These sizes are defined in settings, media and can be changed anytime you want. However, there is one important thing you have to do when changing sizes. After clicking Save Changes button, you have to go to Bfim Tools and click Regenerate Thumbnails to apply already changed sizes to all media. Depending on the number of photos, this may take a while. During this process, you will see a progress bar on the button. Let's get back to gallery options. The next option is Style. This option defines the style of the gallery. You can switch between the default, which is just a plain grid, flat, where the pictures touch each other, fancy, pictures are not evenly arranged on the board, and masonry. Pictures touch both the sides and the top and bottom. Masonry is fixed width, but its height is auto. There are no rows for this gallery style, and images add to the shortest column. Default flat and fancy styles have additional option named layout. You can define if you want the images in the gallery to be equal heights or equal columns. Equal heights means that all images in a row will be same high. Additionally, height can be calculated automatically from the proportions of the photos for each row or can be defined by user. Let's set for example 200 pixels. There's also another super useful option when equal height is set, it's max width. You will find that extra option under style tab and it's available when equal height is set. Within this option, you have control over how much the browser will be able to stretch the image to fill the width of the row. Equal columns makes each column same width. So if you have four columns, for example, each will be 25% width. In this scenario, the height of the row will be determined according to the highest photo. The next option is Columns, and it's available for each style. Here, we can define how many columns our gallery is supposed to have. Let's change it to 5 and see how it looks like in each style. Underneath Columns, we have Grayscale option. This one makes all images in the gallery black and white. Pretty nice option that can be used in specific cases or projects. Let's switch now to the Style tab and see what exactly we can style in the gallery element. The first sub-tab is Image. Here, we can style our images in gallery. The first option in this sub-tab is High. Default means that images has its original high, but custom will adjust them all to the high set in the field underneath. Let's set that field maybe to 300 pixels, for example, to see what would be the difference. Great! Now you know what's the difference between the default and custom high. In the next step, we can set border for images. Let's say you want to have a red border around them. Nothing easier, just tweak few settings and it's ready. Of course, you can choose between various border styles, setting up its radius or even set up margin between them. It's entirely up to you how you use these options. Let's move on to the second sub-tab, named Caption. Here you can style text 
that is visible under each image. For the caption to be displayed, two conditions must be met. Caption field for the image has to be filled with text, but also captions has to be enabled for gallery. If you don't need them, simply set visibility to hidden. Nevertheless, we can switch between default and overlay style. When default, captions are underneath the image, but when overlay, as the name says, captions overlay image. We can also change its background color, text, typography, alignment, and padding. The last subtab is item. Settings here apply to whole item, image, and its caption. Here we can change padding and set background color for the whole item. The last subtab is advanced. It has exactly the same settings as for any other element in B Builder. It means that here we can set things like dimensions, width or height, spacing, background, and many more. Having all these options for the gallery gives you nearly infinite possibilities. Hope you liked this video, and if you did, I encourage you to watch another video where I shown how to set equal height of columns in the B Builder. And as always, thanks for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.